I got involved with research uh, really simply. Just one day freshman year, I sent an email to a professor whose stuff sounded cool, and somehow the next week I was in a lab working. It was great, and I really wanted to take the stuff I learned in a classroom and start doing something with it and helping to contribute in the real world. I'm used to thinking like a student all day in class. Thinking like an investigator is an entirely different different process and it's so useful to have and I'd say that's the biggest thing I get from my research mentor is learning how to think not just like a student but also an investigator. It is really good to help students apply the theory they learn in class to realities so they can learn better when they work in a research lab. As an undergraduate, very appropriately, I remember learning a little bit about a lot of stuff but in research you take something that seems probably when you first start to be rather small in scope. You kind of look beyond that and you see that there's a whole universe surrounding that particular question. Again, like how does, how could an infection cause memory type deficits? That's, that's a huge unknown universe of knowledge right there. And because of that, students, you know, come away with maybe a authorship or had students with a couple of authorships, co-authorships, which is really great for their career or what they're going to do next. Uh, working in a lab, not only it gave me the experiences that are uh, necessary for the lab, it also gave me how to think critically and organize things and set things up by myself. For someone who is interested in pursuing a career in research, getting involved in an undergraduate research position is critical, almost essential to, to get into graduate school. But for other students who are interested in medicine, veterinary medicine, other professional school, or even scientific communication, it's really important to understand the research process. I'd say that, that my experience in a research lab truly makes a huge impact on my application, especially towards MD-PhD schools. Research schools will weigh very heavily the research experiences that you've had prior to their program. It kind of shows them like what you're capable of. Research in my lab critically relies on students from the University of Illinois. I try to have one undergrad paired with a grad student so that the undergrads feel like they have personal attention from someone doing the experiments as well as some attention from me kind of overseeing what's going on. When someone comes into your lab and you can teach them something and you can watch them go from never touching a pipette to showing you data at lab meeting that's going to be publication worthy, that's really, really rewarding. I feel like it's watching the development of an undergrad and really seeing them um, get, you know, get the aha moment to get it and really get some data and really learn to love the science is one of my favorite parts. Every result you get, everything, question you answer, every question that you don't answer is one, it's like one more piece of the puzzle of life that like, we want to understand. Even if you're not sure if you're interested in it, it's always worth trying. And don't do it just to do it. Look for the lab that you're, you're interested in. Doing it in the lab is just an entirely different dimension, and it's really going to allow you to unlock the full potential of what you've been taught in your classes because you're putting the facts into practice, and that is such an invaluable thing to do that I, I really recommend all MCB students should do it.